In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best Telegram bot for base chain, and I'm also going to be giving you a full step-by-step -step tutorial so that you can learn how to start using this today. Now, the bot I'm using is called Sigma Bot, and I'll actually include an invitation link in the video description down below. And when you click that link, you'll get taken to this Telegram bot. So to get started, you can simply type start or click the start button. And from there, you'll see something like this pop up. Now, if you haven't yet created a wallet inside of the bot, you will need to do that first. However, since I've already created a wallet, it's not asking me to do that. Once you've got your wallet set up, they'll actually give you a private key as well. And you want to make sure you keep note of this private key, because if you ever lost access to this Telegram account, that would mean that you could use that private key to add it to your MetaMask wallet or some other wallet like that. Once you've created your wallet, you should see something like this, where you can do a load of things with that wallet. If you can't see that, you can simply type slash wallets and this will appear. And the first thing we will need to do in order to start using SigmaBot is load it up with some Ethereum. So what you'll need to do is copy your wallet address, which is right here, and you'll need to send over some Ethereum, but you want to make sure you send it over on the base network. Once you've sent it over, you can go ahead and type slash wallets again, and that will update it, and hopefully you'll now see some Ethereum in your balance. So if you sent over Ethereum on the base network and your balance hasn't updated, it may mean that you're on the wrong chain. So you do want to make sure it says base chain right here. So if yours says something like Ethereum, what you'll need to do is click back here, then click this chains button here, and then you want to make sure base is ticked. And when it is, that means you'll now be on the base chain. So from there, you can go back and we can just go down to presets. Now this is optional, but I'd recommend you click buy buttons and change these to match how you trade. Because by default, these will be your preset buy buttons, and that'll mean you can buy over 0.1 worth of Ethereum, 0.2, 0.5, or one whole Ethereum worth. So if you're trading with smaller size, you might want to change this to 0.01 or something like that. You can basically just change these to match your trading style. Because for some people, these presets might be a bit too much to invest. So once you've done that and you're happy, we're now ready to begin trading. So you can type slash start, and that'll bring open this menu again. From here, we want to just paste in a contract address. And to start with, I'll be showing you how to snipe. So you can just paste in a contract that you want to snipe. And if it hasn't launched yet, it will say something like this, snipe not set. So in order to set the snipe, you can simply click one of these preset buttons, or you can click this one to put in a custom amount. So then you could type out whatever you want, and you can click enter to set the snipe. W1 refers to which wallet you're using, and since I've only got one wallet, it only shows W1. You can then change the gas as well, and the higher the gas you put, the more chance your transaction will have of going through. And you can also click these buttons to buy over the maximum or minimum amount of tokens, and you can also set the slippage down here. If you're sniping, I'd recommend that you put the slippage fairly high, so if I were to do this, I'd probably do something like 50. So if you're trying to buy a coin normally and trade it, you can just paste in the contract address and click enter, and instead of it looking like this, it will look something like this, and it will show you more details, including the market cap, the liquidity, stuff like that. So this works the same as when you snipe it. You can simply click these preset buttons to buy as much as you want. You can up the gas by clicking these buttons here. And you also have slippage and anti-rug settings down here also. Now there's also limit order, which can be good if you're trying to buy it at a certain price. So if we click on that, that will mean that we can try buy it at whatever market cap we want. So as you can see, the market cap is currently 26,000. And let's just say I wanted to buy it when it dropped 50%. I can click this minus 50% button here, and I can also choose how much I want to buy. Now when you choose how much you want to buy, that will actually set the limit order. And if I click on this here, as you can see, I don't have enough funds in my wallet, but if I did, it would try buy 0.01 worth of Ethereum when it drops down 50%. Now you can also do a custom market cap if that's what you'd rather do. So let's just say I wanted to buy at 20,000 market cap. You can just type in 20,000 and click enter and it will now be set to 20k as you can see right here. You can then click on any of the buy buttons and as soon as you do that, that'll mean that your limit order has now been set and it will try buy it. In terms of selling these coins, it works exactly the same as the buy interface. So instead of it saying buy here, when you've bought it, it will actually say sell. And there's also a limit order option for sales too. So if you wanted to sell it when it goes up maybe three times or something like that, you can do that with the limit order. And it works exactly the same as when you limit order to buy. Now, if you ever need to manage all your positions, you can click start again. And you want to go down to positions right here. As you can see, I don't actually have any positions. But if you did have a load of coins open, it will give you a list of the coins you own. And you can simply click on the one that you want to see. And then you'll be able to click start right here. 
and it will open up a page like this where you can actually sell and buy more of that coin. Now, if the bot ever becomes slow for you, what I'd recommend you do is go down to backup bots. And from here, you can choose between any of these bots and that basically allows you to use the bot on a different server. So if there is ever congestion, you can simply use a different bot and it should be a lot faster. And all your details and wallets stay the same. So let's just say I wanted to do this one. I can click start and my wallet is already set up. And as you can see, that's the coin we were just looking at. So you don't actually lose any of your wallets or positions when you do that. But other than that, those are all the basic features of Sigma bot. And if you use the information you learned in this video, you'll be able to start trading today. As I said earlier, I'll include an invitation link to this bot in the video description down below, so you can click on that link to get started right now. If you have any more questions about this bot or need some help, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.